हेलो फ्यूचर टॉपर्स वेलकम टू स्ट्रीक इनिशिएटिव ऑफ स्विस डेली टू इंश्योर कंसिस्टेंसी इन योर डे टू डे प्रिपरेशन एंड आई वेलकम यू टू मोस्ट प्रोबेबल क्वेश्चन फॉर प्रिलिम्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इन इन्वायरमेंट एंड इकोलॉजी एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट ज्वाइन द स्ट्रीक इनिशिएटिव गो टू डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड यू ज्वाइन इट एंड ऑल्सो डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू ज्वाइन द टेलीग्राम ग्रुप फॉर फर्दर डिस्कशन ऑन द टॉपिक्स दैट आई एम कवरिंग so first question consider the following statement regarding project mike so we know mike full form is monitoring the illegal killing of elephants so see elephants have very uh, cultural significance also you have natural significance also elephants are called engineer species so it is uh, illegally killed by the those poachers and even those who want to tame them and who want to use for the cultural purpose so it has been established by the convention of uh, international trade in endangered species of wild flora and fauna so that is true because the mike sites have been created across the world and to protect from the illegal killing so first is definitely true because site sit is about the illegal trading so you kill illegally to trade illegally so that is the thing because most of the countries in the world have banned the killing of elephants so you cannot actually kill them legally and trade it it is a site based system designed to monitor trends in the illegal killing of elephants to help range states make appropriate management and enforcement decision so that is true also you you set up a site and set up scientific instrument set up police patrols and everything so that you monitor the illegal killing and stop it when well it is happening and take preemptive preemptive measures also so two is true the largest number of mic sites are in india so that that is a point that you have to remember total out of to all the sites india has 10 mic sites which is highest in the number of in the world so because india indian has also one of the largest population of elephants and it is also one of the most threatened due to uh, illegal um, uh, trafficking into their body parts uh, into the neighboring country so 1 2 and 3 all will be true here and you can also see out of 28 site participating in mic india across 13 country india has maximum number of 10 site and you can also see a, a india is signatory to save in south asian wildlife enforcement network india is also member to traffic and also works closely with interpol for intelligence gathering to uh, protect our uh, elephants under the campaign of hathi mere sathi moving on to the next question about the biosphere reserve which of the following statement is are correct regarding biosphere reserve we know that biosphere reserve were um, are set up by different sovereign government but they are uh, uh, recognized by the unesco man and biosphere program 1971 and when they it gets the recognition it gets recognition only when you you fulfill certain criteria you have to have core buffer and transition and also give legal measure to protect it so then will it will um, admitted into UNESCO MAB program and you will get R&D and funding support to take the conservation activity so first statement will not be true because it is a UNEP United Nation Environment program it is program of UNESCO and then we are under MAB program remain under the sovereign jurisdiction of state where they are situated that is true uh, when you have uh, a country ha its sole responsibility of the country to protect their biosphere reserve and uh, when you have biosphere reserve like sundarban divided into two country then individual country will protect their own part so uh, so two is also true here a uh, true here one is wrong here there are 28 wise for reserve in india under mab program so we do not have uh, like a 28 under mab we have only 11 under mab and many of they are in the process of being admitted many are in the process of being under recognition like desert national park and other so you have only statement two true and you can see also all of the 18 Now, uh, biosphere reserve in India and some of them like Nanda Devi, Kanchenjunga, Nusakhova, uh, Panchmari, Agastmala, Gulf of Manar, Nilgiri, uh, Great Nicobar. 
Sundarva. They are not creek. They are part of the MAB of the USP. Rest are under the process of recognition, and or there are others who are be, being set up by the government, and then they will apply for the recognition under MAB. Consider the following statement with respect to save program. The objective of program is to save Asian vultures from extinction. So that is basically the full form saving Asian vultures from extinction that is save. So the of course the first statement will be true and why you need to to protect vultures uh, in India in Indian subcontinent we have like nine species of vulture versus vultures are very ecologically important because they will eat the carcass of the dead animals and clean the environment they are basically the environment cleaners and they will help to decompose them they will help to faster decompose and recycle the material and those they, they will also kill the uh, insects and other pathogen that lives inside the uh, animals or uh, and the animals so uh, in a way it cleans the environment it keeps us our safe but it is now under threat from the various activity lack of food uh, due to uh, anti-inflammatory drug and other kinds of pesticide and other thing that uh, up is found under the body of animals and also they are being killed they will killed by the people so uh, that's why the there are many programs being run one of them is safe program by the civil society and they are trying to monitor the, the vulture species across the India and help them as much as they can. So a statement two will not be true because it is a civil services initiative in Asia, not a initiative of IUCN. So only one will be true and you can see we have nine recorded species, one uh, oriental white backed long belled cylinder belled Himalayan red headed Egyptian bearded. Uh, Cinerus and the Eurasian griffon out of four are critically endangered. We have pushed them to up to level of critically endangered, especially these four are and in the Indian mainland. Three near are uh, threatened, one endangered, and one is vulnerable also. So massive dip of volume came in mid 90s, and because due to like um, too much use of a drug called diclofenac, a veterinary non-steroidal anti-inflammatory that is used in the to relieve the pain of animals and that is often uh, a stay as a residue in the animal body and that when the vulture eat them they will consume it and their liver gets fail uh, their, their uh, sir, kidney or uh, their kidney will fail so in that way the bird uh, uh, starts dying and most of them have now been pushed into threat in June four are critically endangered so many of the breeding centers are the vulture restaurants are being set up and project vulture is also going on to protect them. So moving on to the fourth question, consider the following statement regarding global footprint network. It was established by the World Summit on Sustainable Development 2002. We know that uh, 2002 summit is called Rio plus 10. It was, uh, it was done uh, to mem uh, commemorate on the Rio meet uh, happened 10 years back in 1992 and also overview the initiative like Agenda 21 that you have CBD, UNFCCC, Sustainable Development Program, Rio Principles, UNCCD. So all these were being reviewed at World Summit of uh, uh, sustainable development 2002 and also it adopted Johannes work plan of action because it happened in South Africa so it has nothing to do with the global footprint network so first will not be true it is responsible for hosting and calculating earth our shoot day so this will be true because it has been developed as a civil society network and uh, it is one of the indicative measure how we are over consuming our resources on the earth so what happens that it calculates the resource used by human being and see in the bed, uh, somewhere in the year when you have uh, basically consumed the production of that is uh, projection of that current year in in the year so it shows that basically that we are dipping into the future resources means if you consume your resources by july so august onward to january you are basically taking resources from the future so basically after july it is called the earth overshoot and this month is now 
uh, going below so someday you will end up consuming all the resources in let's say june or in the may or in the april or even in the march so basically you we are not in uh, ensuring sustainable development we are not ensuring intergenerational equity because you are consuming the future resources due to overpopulation or due to creation of waste and other regions so basically it calculates when you are have consumed your share of resources by the human being existing on the earth so second will be uh, second will be it uh, so here answer uh, is marked wrong and uh, first will definitely will not true here and one two is two will be true here uh, so uh, in this uh, in this uh, uh, in this chart you can see in uh, 1970 you had uh, uh, the hour shoot day in uh, december or november then it started going below now the earth hour shoot day in uh, 2019 is august first it means that uh, we are consuming all our resources by august itself so september october november and december we do not we are a basically consuming resources basically consuming resources from the dot which are available for the future so basically to survive all the population in the uh, in the uh, same year resources will need not one earth but 1.75 earth and global footprint network also calculates the take into account of footprint accounts creation of 2019 and 20 and onwards so moving on to the last question consider the following statements regarding bio safety clearing hall it has been established to facilitate the exchange of information on living modified organisms to protect biological diversity so see you have lots of research going on mic uh, microbes um, uh, organisms to modify them and to ins uh, insert them uh, favorable genes to perform favorable functions like gm uh, gm you have gm crops like bt cotton and bt uh, bt brinjal and other kinds of uh, uh, plants and animals are being modified to suit, a, suit the need of human being in particular area you have golden rice and there you insert the insert the gene from one organism to another organism so in another name for that gm uh, e crops are uh, gm plants are living modified organisms and that uh, pose a threat to the biological diversity because that gene that modified gene that important gene will spread into the whole uh, whole um, uh, plants and uh, species in the area mm -hmm. and that can disturb the you know that we have three components uh, of uh, the biodiversity at uh, and uh, and molecular level also it will change at the diversity genetic diversity in the region so we have to be very careful about what modifications we are making into the living organisms and because it can have unintended consequences of affecting the biodiversity at the genetic level that is genetic diversity so uh, this uh, cbd's convention of biological diversity it has under one protocol created bio safety clearing house where we you will have to get a clearance from that that um, house whether you are mo making movement in of the living modified organism across one country to another it is a mechanism to set up under nagoya no this is not true the nagoya protocol was for the access and benefits here it is under the Cartagena protocol which set up biosafety clearing house to facilitate the exchange of information. So we need free exchange of the information on these living modified organisms and country to country they can deny importing of such organisms which may threaten the biodiversity of a particular country or a region. So you have only one will be true in this question and two will not rule it is set up under the Cartesian protocol so you can also see under 20 uh, CPB established con uh, convention uh, B BS Cartesian biosafety protocol established biosafety clearing house the protocol set up two function for BC to facilitate exchange 
of scientific, technical environment, legal information, and experience with LMO. So each country will set, uh, share these experience with each other through this BCH and also assist parties to implement the protocol. CPB head is a Cartagena Biosafety Protocol. So uh, this basically ensures that biodiversity at the genetic level is not threatened. So I uh, thank you for watching the today video and also do not forget to join the telegram group where you can discuss further rich topics and discuss more the topics with a experienced painter and they will help you to understand these topics if you uh, have any issue in understanding these topics and more topics on the environment. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Seville's daily.